Um, is there a frog in my salad? Look at this, there's a frog. So, my name is Simon, and I've just found a frog in my food. A frog I will call Tony, who I, thanks to my careful eye, single-handedly saved from becoming dinner. At first, I wasn't sure what to do or what to think. I was like, where did Tony come from? Are frogs supposed to be in salads? Did I order him by accident? Was there a mix-up at the salad frog factory? But then I took a deep breath and focused on what's important, getting this little green guy home. I wanted to release him back to the wild, but when I realized how cold it was outside, I figured it might be best for Tony to stay a while. And it was too late to take him to an animal rescue, so Tony was gonna have to chill with me for the time being. Right, it is 2.40 a.m. and Tony's doing great. He's just hanging out on his lettuce. Once I realized Tony would be staying with me, I knew I had to act fast. <laughs> Cause who knows how long Tony's been away from his froggy home. So I decided to turn this here salad box into Tony's own terrarium. Think of it as a mini jungle home with plants and soil that are similar to Tony's natural habitat. This wasn't a bad setup for Tony. He's got the leaves, the water, and some bugs I found for him. Why would any frog ever want to leave this place? Except leaving is exactly what Tony kept doing. Again, and again, and again. There's a little escape artist. He's going back in his little tank. Well, look who we found in the shower. The drama queen. It was scary having to go find him every time, but I knew Tony was pretty scared too. Being in a new, strange place couldn't be easy for such a little guy, which is why he kept trying to get out of it. All right, so. We found Tony in the shower. He was covered in dust bunnies and very dehydrated. But we found him, we found him. Oh, there he is. Hi, baby. I realized maybe it was time for Tony's terrarium to get an upgrade. So I headed out to the pet store to find another temporary but more secure terrarium for Tony. Tony needed more space, and this would be much more roomier than that old salad box. Thankfully, I grabbed this new temporary home just in time. Cause while I was out, Tony got out again. He escaped on the counter yet again. So we're gonna put him in his new little place and hopefully he won't hop away. While Tony adjusted to his new terrarium, I was still trying to figure out what was best for him. Should I release him outside? Should I put him in another salad? I put my story online and some animal experts told me that the best thing for Tony would be a loving home, like mine. And as soon as I heard that, I knew it was time to get Tony an even better terrarium where he can live his best frog life with me. All right, we just got Tony's new terrarium and it's so cute. I'm so excited. All right, so let me go, let me go get Tony and put him in. And right away, Tony was living a froggy dream. And there he is. Oh, he's in his new house. Now that he's in a proper home, there haven't been any more escape attempts. For now. I never expected to be a frog dad. But it turns out a new friend can be found anywhere, even in a salad. the kittens find the subscribe button.